Coxy is the one, sorry, who is the um, X Factor, I think, for the Toronto Argonauts. As I said before, he had 80 plus yards in both matchups with the Red Blacks this season. He is a really good contested catch guy, helps them push the ball down the field, and also helps them keep drives alive on second down. Since Chad Kelly came back, he uh, and this team have been rolling in the passing offense. And I think Coxy is a big part of that. And they are going to need him in this game to continue to push that ball. And one of the reasons reasons why is the X-Factor on the Ottawa side, and that's uh, Javon Santos-Knox. If they are going to be able to limit the Argos at all, they are going to have to stop Kadeem Carey and try to make these guys one-dimensional. They did that in, I would say, both games that they played this year. And in the first one, Chad Kelly threw all over the yard, but also turned it over and allowed Ottawa to, to, to stay in that game. Um, the, the second one, the, the turnovers were a little, li little bit limited. They still got a lot of passing yards off. But I think that if Carey is getting four or five, six yards on first down, you guys know what I think about that. Um, I, I think it just, it allows Kelly to really pick apart what I think is maybe a bit of a subpar secondary. So I... I think Santos Knox, him coming back, has helped a little bit on this defense. He is going to have to be a big player in the East semifinal. Out West, we will start with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and Keyshawn Johnson, um, part of a very talented receiving room. Harris just likes to spread the ball around, and it is just take what the defense gives you and move on with it. And it seems like the guys like Emelis and guys like uh, Schaefer Baker get a lot of that attention, and so Johnson ends up in a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations, and there have been times where he has been the big play guy who has been able to come up with the big plays, obviously. But there have also been times where there has been a big play that is needed, a big play that is there to make, and a big play that he does not make. And so that is a, it's just, it's a drive killer, especially in Canadian football, when you only get three downs to work with. So I think that this is going to be a very important moment here for um, for Saskatchewan and for Keyshawn Johnson. Morning, Deeds. Thanks for uh, stopping by today. Um, I, I think that this is a chance for him to have really a breakout game here. Meanwhile, on the BC sideline, it's a couple. I have uh, Keon Hatcher and Alexander Hollins. Um, BC needs a secondary playmaker aside from McInnes to, to step up. Saskatchewan has been amazing at stopping the run this year with, um, and, and even in a couple of games against Stanback uh, when these two teams have played. And so, so with obviously a lot of focus going to be on McInnes, although he picked Saskatchewan apart in that first game that they played, um, I think it is now going to be on one of these guys, either Keon Hatcher, who had a big game a couple weeks ago against Montreal, or Alexander Hollins, who was fantastic when Vernon Adams was at the controls uh, early on in the season when Vernon Adams was on his MOP run. Um, I, I think Alexander Hollins was one of the real, real shining stars and fell off a cliff at some point. Um, so he needs to, BC needs him to find it. But uh, it's going to be a couple of interesting games in the CFL on what is an interesting day in the Canadian Football League with the Calgary Stampeders making a couple of big moves, um, getting rid of Mark Killam, Brett Munson, and Jawan Simpson. Uh, for the American viewers, Jawan Simpson, former Alabama uh, linebacker way back uh, when.